Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lecture 6, Transaction Management Part 2. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand concurrency control and describe three problems if concurrency control is not being implemented. In our database system, we want multiple users to use the same system at the same time. However, there must be control towards those concurrent users. That's what we call as concurrency control. It is defined as process of managing simultaneous operations on the database without having them interfere with one another. Transaction can interleave with each other, but it cannot interfere. If two users want to update the same bank account at the same time, there will be some incorrect balance at the end of the transactions. Although two transactions may be correct in themselves, interleaving of operations may produce an incorrect result. Concurrency control is needed because of everybody want everything to settle fast with a correct result. If there is no concurrency control, the problems that might occur are loss update problem, uncommitted dependency problem, and inconsistent analysis problem. Loss update problem means successfully completed update is overridden by another user. Let's take a look at this example. We have different transactions here, T1 and T2. T2 starts first. But when T2 starts, the balance X that is read by T2 is 100. Then operation by T2 is adding balance X with 100. Now, the balance X held by T2 is 200, 100 plus 100. But it is not yet reflected in the database because T2 haven't write the data into database. At the same time, T1 read balance X. By the time T1 read balance X from the database, it is still 100. Then, T1 do an operation of balance X minus 10. Then, value held by T1 is 90. When T2 write to the database, the value will change to 200. Then T2 commit. Commit means you make the changes permanent in the database. Right after T2 commit, then T1 which held balance X as 90 commits its transaction. Now, balance X in the database is 90. Supposedly, balance X 100, we plus with 100 from T2 and minus 10 from T1, the answer will be 190. But the balance in account X now is 90. We are missing $100. This is what we call as loss update problem. T2 starts first, but update by T2 is overridden by T1. Let's move on to uncommitted dependency problem. It occurs when one transaction can see intermediate results of another transaction before it has committed. We have T3 and T4 transactions. T4 starts first. When T4 starts, balance X is 100. When T4 read balance X, it hold value of 100. Then T4 did an operation of balance X plus 100. Right after the operation, T4 write balance X to database. Now, balance X in database is 200. After that, T4 go idle for a while. By the time T4 went idle, T3 starts its transaction. T3 read balance X written by T4, which is 200. Then, T3 did an operation of balance X minus 10. At the same time of the operation, T4 roll back. Roll back means transaction is cancelled and the value of the data in transaction will be changed to the value before that transaction started. Means, balance X now has to be 100 again. But it is too late since T3 has already read balance X as 200. Now, when T3 continue writing to the database, the value that T3 wrote to the database is 190 and T3 commit. Changes is now permanent in the database. Supposedly, balance X is 100 since T4 is cancelled. Then, minus 10 by T3, the final balance X should be 90. But, in the database now, the balance X is 190. Of course, we are happy since during MCO, some people cannot work and extra money is needed. But it is a loss to the businesses, especially banks. This is what we call as uncommitted dependency problem. T4 starts first but haven't commit. 
However, D3 came in later and can see intermediate result of uncommitted D4. Move on to the next problem. Inconsistent analysis problem occurs when transaction reads several values but second transaction came in later and updates some of the data in the database during execution of first transaction. We have T5 and T6 transaction here. T6 wants to do sum of balance X, Y and Z. After a while, T5 came in later and wants to update certain value in the database. Both transactions read X at the same time, and the value read by both transactions is 100. T5 did an operation of 100 minus 10, which makes the balance X held by T5 to become 90. At the same time, T6 did an operation of sum plus 100, which lead to the current sum equals to 100 since the sum started with 0. While T5 is writing new balance X to the database, which is 90, T6 read balance Y. Balance Y read by T6 is 50. Add up with the current sum, the new sum is now 150. Then, T6 go idle for a while. On the other hand, T5 read balance Z, which is 25, and add 10 to the balance Z, which made the value of Z is now 35 in the database after the write process by T5. Then, T5 commit. The new balance of X and Z changed by T5 are now permanent in the database. Then, T6 continue to read balance Z. The value in the database now is 35. After adding with the current value of sum, the new sum now is 185. Supposedly, based on the latest data in the database, x equals to 90 plus y equals to 50 plus z equals to 35, the total is 175. But sum given by T6 is 185. We have an extra money again. But it is a loss to the banks. This is what we call as inconsistent analysis problem. T6 starts first and just want to read data in database. But T5 came in later and changed value in database while T6 is still reading. Hence, data is retrieved by T6 has become inconsistent. There's a lot of things to process, isn't it? So, let's stop now. See you again in the next part. Thank you.